Well, my name is Areli, I'm the family pastor at the Vineyard Church in Huffington. Okay. Hi, my name's Abby, and... You're Abby. I'm Abby, and I like watermelon a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, first off, uh, congratulations to you. You just uh, you. won Chopped. Can you talk about what that experience was like? Yes, yeah, so uh, I won Chopped, and uh, it's been a year of waiting for the episode to air. And uh, the episode was um, a leap of faith. So, that meant that we were able to represent our church in national television, our small little church in Hopkinton. And I went against a rabbi and a priest and a nun. And I was able to go to New York. And uh, long story short, I won. So it was very fun. We had a gathering here on, what, Tuesday to um, to watch the episode. And I think there were like 75 of us. And how was it for you, Abby, when you saw me on TV? When I saw you on TV, I was just like, oh my gosh, I know someone that is actually on TV. <laughs> So anyway, so that was very fun for us as a, as a community um, because we were able to talk about the Helping Hands ministry that we do here at church that is bringing food to the community in need. So maybe someone is sick or they lost their job or a family member. And we were able to talk about it. That's what we do here in Huffington. Excellent. What did you yeah. cook on the show? We cook, well, two things, a salmon. Um, uh, you know, it's a mystery basket, so you open and you have 20 minutes to figure out what to do. So they were all themes from the Bible. And uh, the first one was a salmon with, what was in there? Bread and honey and... Yeah, like the croutons. Onions. Crouton, yeah. Yes, so I make this... Um, you made them in the uh, Yes, I make salmon. And then the second one was lamb. And I make some rice. And then the third episode, the, the third dessert one, um, I started to make a flan that is a Mexican dessert, and it tasted like wild abby. Scrambled eggs. <laughs> it tasted awful. So the challenge was in, in five minutes I needed to come with a new um, dessert. So I make this buñuelo, uh, take on a buñuelo that is a Mexican dessert with a flour tortilla. So that was really fun. At the end, it was the rabbi and myself, and um, I won. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, excellent. Now you said the uh, episode aired a year after you were on it. Did yes. you have to wait she the, had to until sign it aired something. to uh, reveal if you won or not? Yes. So I couldn't. I couldn't reveal anything. Um, a year ago, I learned that I was uh, accepted to after the casting, and then they came here to Hopkinton to uh, to tape the biopack. It's called. So they just film, film what I do normally at church and then I went December to tape on New York City so it's been seven six months since I taped it and I need to give my mouth shut until Tuesday when we uh, hosted a a gathering to to watch the episode together so yeah six months Wow, that must have been hard holding that in. It's <laughs> really, really hard to keep my mouth. My son said, Mom, Mom, can you tell me? And I said, no, nope, if I tell you, you're going to tell everyone. And he said, well, you're right, I will. So, no, I needed to keep it to myself. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you very much. That's so unbelievable. Hard. I know. Now, I understand uh, you two are going to the White House. <laughs> tell about tell about, about Abby. Now it's your turn to talk. What happened? How? Why are we going to the White House? Uh, oh, I don't know. You want me to tell talk about it? So, um, as I said, I, I entered recipe contest and I um, saw this contest that is sponsored by um, PBS Kids and um, the challenge is to cook with someone between 8 and 12 years old. And because I am the family pastor at the church, I thought about Abby because we have cooked together before. So I called her mom and what did I ask her? What did I ask your mom? If I could come to her house. Mm -hmm. And do what? And cook it. Yep. So we, the challenge was to use what our state is uh, known for. So Abby came with a few ingredients. What was the, the ingredients? Hmm. Cranberries. Cranberries. Mm -hmm. Cod. Cod fish. Mm -hmm. And then we use potatoes. You thought of potatoes. Yeah, I thought about the potatoes. And the oats. And the oats, because we needed to use the myplay.org, you know. Um, so we came with a recipe that we call... And the apples. Apples. And we call what? The recipe. But fit to run 
Boston Marathon caught potato cakes. Uh huh. Because you know we we wanted to express what our <gasps> town oh, is no. known for. So what is it known for? The Boston Marathon. I accidentally corrected Mr. Kernan and said fit to run Boston. No, fit to run caught potato cakes. You f you forgot the Boston Marathon. I That's didn't. Okay. I forgot. That. So anyway, we wanted to represent our town and what is more important than the Boston Marathon, you know, start starting line. So Abby was talking about back in the day when she had the experience of seeing the runners come to her school. No, Abby? Memories. Memories. So we then went to Price Shopper and bought all the stuff. And then, it was fun. And then what did we do after? We went, went to, to my your house. house. Mm -hmm. And then potatoes, we boiled them. Mm -hmm. And then um, peel them. Peel them. Uh -huh. And then put the cod in the oven. No, we cut the cod. Mm -hmm. And we put it in the oven. Mm -hmm. And, and bake cooked it. it. Mm -hmm. Baked it. And then mix them together. Mix it together. With? No, we peeled the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mush them. Mush, 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 mush. And then we put the cod. Oats. And Oats. the garlic powder. Mm -hmm. And then, the, and then we mix up the eggs and the stuff. And then mm -hmm. some salt. And then we put the pepper in. And then we put the. Then we. And we mix it all together. And with my then hands. we make the. Cakes. In a big silver bowl. Uh huh. And then we make the cakes and then we make a salad with what? With spinach. Spinach. Uh huh. Um, salad dressing. What, what was in our salad dressing? Strawberries. Uh, strawberries. We made it with strawberries, strawberries and vinegar and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, salt and, and, and then we, we, took, we took a picture. I mean, it click, click. And then we noticed that we forgot the apples or strawberries. The cranberries. And then we took oh, a picture yeah. again. And then we took a picture again. And then we ate it. And then, we ate and then it. I needed to take you where? Back home to look. No, to look craft practice. Yeah, then I took her to look craft practice. And then we submitted the recipe, and three days later, what happened? They told us that we were in. So. Wait, three days later? Yes, it was really fast. So they you told didn't us we even were in. You tell me. And then we're going to the White House to uh, stay dinner. Why to didn't represent you tell me? Ma I told your mom. <laughs> <laughs> to represent Massachusetts, so we are excited. We're gonna go you in July. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, that's very exciting. Yes. Hi, Kara. And, and then, uh, what's the most exciting part of the trip going to the White House? The plane ride. <laughs> the plane ride is the most exciting. And going on a bus to Logan Airport. She has never gone to <laughs> Logan Express, so that's very exciting for her. I've been on an airplane before, but yes. I've been on Logan Express thing yet, Bobby. See, the little things in life. <laughs> Absolutely. Have any of you been to the White House before? Nope. I've been outside of the White House. Yep. I have pictures. You excited to go inside of it? I wonder what it looks like. So I want to do a self-portrait of all presidents. Probably. I wonder how much presents there are. We'll see. We'll find out. Ooh, back then, President Washington was president for too long. <laughs> see, you're learning something today, too. 